the carrier air wing is comprised of eight different squadrons on board and one detachment. Of those eight squadrons, four of them are F-18 E and Fs, so either single seat or two seat versions. The F-18 is both a fighter and an attack airplane, so they can do all types of the roles as a fighter, shoot all the different types of missiles and weapon systems that are on board for that. Uh, for the attack role, they can launch almost all the weapons in the U.S. inventory. Use uh, primarily, obviously, for any type of strike capability, you'd have the F-18. Right next to it would be the EA-18G, or Growler. It's a new airplane, looks a lot like the F-18, used for electromagnetic warfare. Anytime a radar sets off any type of signal, this airplane is able to pick up that signal, classify it, locate it, uh, and then hopefully target it if it needs to with the systems on board that airplane. Highly sophisticated, fantastic airplane. We also have the E-2. The E-2, they're kind of the quarterback in the sky, so they've got a giant radar on top that goes around. Phenomenal ranges that they're able to get uh, really opens up and shows the picture to the entire strike group because they feed into the whole strike group. So they don't just control airplanes. They help link airplane one warfare commander, the strike warfare commander, to the other warfare commanders uh, and really help ensure that the picture is fused across all the various warfare commanders. That's the E-2. Uh, we also have the C-2 COD. We have two of those in the air wing. Those CODs are used to bring supplies from shore to ship and then from ship back to shore. Vital for what we do. Logistics is key to the success of an air wing, especially when you are deployed. In fact, the entire strike group relies on the COD and their ability to transport supplies and people back and forth from various locations throughout the world. We also have helicopters on board, two versions of the helicopter. We have the MH-60 Sierra, which can be used as a utility helicopter. It can bring supplies from one ship to another, can bring people from one ship to the other. It can also be heavily outfitted as well. And we're able to put machine guns on the sides of it. We're able to put forward firing ordnance on it to include rockets, guided and unguided, and forward firing weapons to be used if you want to deliver seals in some location, or if you have a downed aviator and you need to go in and pick them up. We also have the MH-60 Romeo. MH-60 Romeo is used for any type of anti-surface warfare to be able to find any type of ships that are out there. It's got a phenomenal radar that can see vast ranges, locate, classify, identify, and then ultimately target any type of ship that's out there. You can see periscopes as well at quite far ranges. And then it also has the ability to do undersea warfare against submarines by dropping sonar buoys, or it can actually drop a device that can actually go in the water and then acoustically pick up submarines as well. So we have quite a bit of uh, platforms on board the carrier.